Well, this is a make or break test really for the uh, Panasonic Lumix FT-01. Uh, I have had it in water previously and the lens fogged up, so I'm about to drop it down in this little rock pool here. The water should be quite cold uh, and we'll see if the lens fogs up again. All the footage in this video seems to suffer from little light particles drifting around in front of the lens. This is in fact oxygen bubbles in the water and I didn't turn off the little LED light that was set to auto. This will highlight those little bulbs drifting in front of the lens and can indeed cause focusing issues where it tries to focus on this. I believe if you turn the light off this shouldn't be such an issue. The little LED light is quite handy though when you're sticking the camera into dark crevices as you'll see later from some more footage. All this footage has been taken in the IA mode on the camera. Uh, I have noticed that it does tend to overexpose everything to some degree. This is probably fixable in the exposure compensation, but as yet I've not actually used that. More later on whether or not that works. Now the camera shut itself down at the end of that last little sequence of footage. Uh, I believe it was at about 8 minutes 31. I've since looked into this and it does appear that the camera has about a 2 gigabyte file size limit. I don't know if this is due to the file format that the memory card is in or if this is a, a drawback really of the camera. Um, 2 gigabyte does not get you very long in HD video. As I say about 8 minutes. You may have noticed that little focusing blick there. I've actually left that in because this seems to be something that the camera does quite regularly. It just has little freak outs and can't decide where it's going to focus. More on that at some other point in a later review I think. With regards to the fogging issue that I mentioned at the start of the review, the camera does still have this problem. I don't know if this is an issue with the cameras from Panasonic or just this particular model. I have noticed however that it only seems to do it when it comes out of your pocket when the camera is warm going into cold water. At this point though it does fog up on the inside of the lens and you lose any focusing and clarity of your image. This is where the LED really has proved itself to be a beneficial feature. Um, despite its small size it does give up quite an amount of light even above water I've used this whilst fishing out at night and it is enough to sort of light up someone's face while they're talking to the camera. Um, in this case it's just lit up underneath the uh, rock ledge there where the flatfish were swimming and hiding. So far I'm quite impressed with the video capabilities of the FT-01. I was a little concerned about the fogging issue but now I realise that it can be avoided just by keeping it at air temperature as it were. Uh, that does seem to help. 